songs here live for us. You, you guys have been playing together for a long, long time and it really shows. Thank you. If someone asked me the other day actually, they, they said, uh, how, how long have you, and I thought the question was going to be, how long have you been out here for? And I was like, oh, we've been out here for a year. And he said, there's no way you guys have been together in a band for just a year because, uh, he, you know, obviously, he could, he could, you know, it's, it's, it's a kind of great, great connection on stage we have, you know, and it's, uh, it's nice that people realise that. Now, is music something that both of you guys knew from a very young age you wanted to do? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I think it's. Um, I think all of us, all, all four of us, have, have been. Um, that, that's it, it, in completely different ways, but that's all we've. That's all we've kind of ever focused on. But, yeah. but in completely different ways, you know, our, our kind of roots into the industry have probably all been completely different, you know. But uh, we've all we've all been been uh, making music and, and kind of in music and. You know, these I think that probably helps as well because there's 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 never I mean for all of us I think there's just never been any doubt that uh, and that we'd never even tried to pursue anything else <laughs> you know so it's kind of it's always just been that you know I'd, I'd go into music one right. way or another you know this song Candy is an older song and yeah. you guys sampled a great older song how who who found that well it was a guy called Rollo Armstrong a, a, a friend of mine who's a really good producer back in England and, and he just he found the actual sample we were li listening through to records and and it was him that, that, that um, well as we were listening through to this record it was him that said you know you should really try and do something with this this uh, uh, this sample you know let's see if see if you can he just kind of uh, it kind of almost gave it to it to me as, as a challenge really and, and just said look you know see where you can take that see what you can do with that and then, uh, and uh, yeah, and then, and then that candy came from it. So it was a, yeah, it was a nice. Uh, it's very different from her version, and and then there was a Patsy Cline version before that, and they're they're all quite different. But um, we just took this tiny little kind of tiny little bite of it, really, and then and then made another song out of it. So, what um, can you identify the act? Like, when did the actual break come for you guys? It's strange because I don't think there's been one break. I think it's just it. It has been one of them albums that it feels like the support has grown for it. It feels like, uh, you know, from, from, from day one, from the first people we've met, it's felt like, you know, people have taken the album away and then and then come back. You know, it's not that it's not that something that people have immediately listened to and gone, right, we're going to open up these doors and we're going to give you these opportunities. Them, them opportunities have been coming to us, but gradually over the, over the time of people getting to know the album, you know. Well, we here at the Rick D's Weekly Top 40 appreciate you guys coming by and playing for us also Thank it was you very much. Yeah, really you. really a treat to have yeah, you guys come pleasure. in here Juan Eskimo Christian and Adam thanks guys Thank, Thank you very you. much